technology, entertainment, design, pro wrestling? I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. And if you are passionate about the craft of professional wrestling, and you're never done learning all about it, then you have landed in the exact right place. Join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe down below, ring the notification bell so you find out every time a hot new vid pops out of the oven. Or if you're looking to take your participation and your support of the Till We Make It project to the next level, consider following that link down below in the descriptus right to my Patreon. Over there, I publish a weekly exclusive just for my patrons, plus give them access to essays, book excerpts, podcasts, and class recordings of mine from years past. And all of that's waiting for you over on Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Today, I want to share with you some TED Talks that have ties to the world of professional wrestling, either in subject matter or in speaker. You might know that the TED in TED Talks is an acronym. It stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. And TED Talks are unpaid speeches delivered at conventions or independently organized events. Those independent events are usually tagged as TEDx. And you can't be just anybody and give a TED Talk. I should know. I would love to give a TED Talk, and I never have. Even though I've done similar presentations in public, I've never given an official TED or TEDx talk. Turns out, you have to be nominated to give a TED Talk. Although I do want to mention this, while Googling around a little bit this morning, I discovered that under certain conditions, you can nominate yourself to give a TED Talk, which is very convenient. I want to start today's discussion with you by sharing my very favorite TED Talk by a professional wrestler. It is this one. A Pro Wrestler's Guide to Confidence is a TED Talk by Gator McGraw, but he delivers this under his legal name of Mike Kinney. This is a charming and insightful oration about discovering your in-ring persona and about projecting confidence not only in the ring, but in real life as well. Gator McGraw made his biggest impact in the Minnesota scene, and he even talks a little bit about his adventures as a journeyman wrestler out in the Midwestern U.S. He was mostly active in the 90s and the 00s. He even founded his own short-lived company out there called Pro Wrestling Rush. He is very polished in this presentation. He's charismatic and self-aware, and he just knocks it out of the park in this TED Talk. I watched it when it came out a couple years ago, and I re-watched it this morning before recording this for you, and it has lost none of its luster. The Authenticity of Fake is a TED Talk by Candice Michelle, who you'll probably recall was one of several underutilized talents who had to navigate the swampy waters of WWE's diva years. And she shows up for her 2018 TED Talk wearing the WWE Women's Championship belt, which is a choice, but she gives a really impassioned speech about authenticity and the reality of life on the road for professional wrestlers. And she backs it up with some really interesting talking points and at least one statistic I had never heard before. Candace also explores the emotional risks involved in being a professional wrestler, and I don't mind telling you that is a topic I hear rarely discussed among fellow pros. She's also brutally honest about her own career path to stardom in the WWE. Back in her days on the main stage, I don't think Candace was regarded as a great talker, and yet she commands the stage for this 15-minute TED Talk, and she holds the audience spellbound the entire time. Hassan Assad delivers a TED Talk called When Do I Stop Being a Criminal? He's better known by his WWE moniker of MVP. And in this thought-provoking speech, he talks about paying his debt to society and the specter that that criminal conviction from 30 years ago still casts over his life. He is open and honest about the nine years that he served in prison and the way in which that part of his permanent record still affects his day-to-day -day life even now. It affects the kinds of jobs he can get, the places that he can go, and the way that people judge him. Even at the time of his TED Talk back in 2019, he's still being faced with rejection over relatively simple things like applying to lease an apartment. 
because of the criminal conviction that he faced when he was 16 years old. And in MVP's story, pro wrestling does represent a degree of redemption, but his story doesn't stop there. Throughout the speech, he asks questions of the audience about rehabilitation and about societal norms that need to be reconsidered. And this entire presentation of his is very sincere, it is easy to understand, and it feels like it comes straight from the heart. You Ain't Better Than Pro Wrestling, a Lucha Libre exhibition? is the title of the TED Talk by Frank Powers, the Prince of Promotion, the King of Commotion. And he happens to be a working ring announcer and master of ceremonies on the independent scene in Arizona. And he brings a whole lot of passion to his presentation on the TED stage, which includes descriptions of some of the most significant figures in the history of Lucha Libre, and then introduces a bit of live wrestling energy as he is, I am fairly certain, the only person to ever stage a pro wrestling match in his TED Talk. While this one scores some easy points for featuring a chair shot before it's all said and done, don't overlook the fact that Frank packs this one with love and enthusiasm and knowing winks to people who know pro wrestling throughout his entire speech. I think this one deserves so much more attention than it has received in the last couple of years. It's only been viewed about 2,000 times, but perhaps we can marshal the forces of the Till We Make It tribe to help bump his numbers up a little bit. Why the news media is stealing from the pro wrestling playbook is Eric Bischoff's TED Talk. And if you don't know, Eric Bischoff is a figure of immense influence, most of all during pro wrestling's cable TV era, the era that immediately preceded the social media era of professional wrestling. Bischoff does talk a little bit about his entry into the business under Vern Gagne in the American Wrestling Association and makes the briefest of allusions to his time working under Ted Turner at WCW in Atlanta, but he spends a lot of time demonstrating heat-generating heel tactics and exploring how that template is used by modern news media to polarize their viewers. While this speech is not exactly uninteresting, Bischoff's TED Talk is not particularly well-written, and it seems almost unrehearsed when he walks out on stage. Just between you and me, he's got one central point to make, and then he just makes that point over and over and over again for 17 minutes. If you make it to the halfway point in the video, you've heard the entire speech. The mantra of TED Talks is that they are to be filled with ideas worth spreading. And I don't know that that's necessarily true of this TED Talk by Eric Bischoff. Of all the ones on today's list, I find it to be the least insightful. Have you seen any of the TED Talks I've mentioned so far? If so, let me know which one you like best down below in the comments. Or if for some reason I happen to miss your favorite, drop that below in the comments, but follow it with a nonsensical emoji, please. I want to take a moment to shout out one of my favorite TED Talks of all time. It's the one by Pixar's Andrew Stanton, and it's about storytelling. I think it is brilliant, and I believe anyone who makes professional wrestling needs to watch this TED Talk. I have referenced it before right here on the channel. I have also referenced it in books that I have written. I have referenced it in the lectures that I give. And his TED Talk, Clues to a Great Story, are 19 of the smartest minutes you'll spend today. In his TED Talk, Stanton calls up clips from Finding Nemo, Toy Story, and WALL-E to make his points about character and emotional investment. This is a tour de force oration from a master storyteller captured at the height of his powers. It is a must-watch video. If you get to shape even one pro wrestling storyline in the entirety of your active career, you need to wrap your head around the unifying theory of 2 plus 2, which Stanton details in plain language in this TED Talk. So I decided to compile all of these TED Talks into a single playlist for you, and I even included Ken Shamrock's TED Talk about working with at-risk youth. I threw in Frank Shamrock's TED Talk about overcoming fear, and yeah, I tossed in my Ignite Philly speech about my ultimate career aspiration too, because that one needs the views. Help a guy out, huh? Click on it.